today we are finally picking back up on the container home. So if you've been following along, you know that we've had that major issue of not being able to access the upper level. Well today, that starts to change. But before I get ahead of myself, I'm Tyler, this is Todd, and for the last three years we've lived here, smack dab in the middle of the woods building an off-grid home made of shipping containers and a few other things like our own food supply, a water source, and most recently our very own power supply, completely independent from the grid and monthly utility costs. With a huge amount of work happening in the background, it's time we fill you in on a little secret we've been keeping. And I wasn't the only one keeping a secret this week. We post new videos every Sunday at 12 p.m. Eastern. If you end up enjoying today's video, hit that subscribe button and come along. It is such a beautiful winter morning here today. We've actually been having a very unseasonably warm winter, especially being January. I mean, I'll take it over the alternative. But today we are finally picking back up on the container home. So if you've been following along, you know that we've had that major issue of not being able to access the upper level. Well today that starts to change, but first we need to get building the foundation. So we had five piles along the side of the house that was gonna support the deck, but with the staircase addition, we have to move them around. So Liam, so cool. yeah, like he's here today and he's just simply unscrewing them out of the ground and screwing them back in, which is really cool. This it, is like, this is so awesome. This saved us so much time and money. Like if we yeah. had done sono tubes, is that what you were just saying? Yeah, and it's also just like more environmentally friendly because that concrete would have been wasted and left in the ground, but not these, we're able to reuse, so. That's so cool. Just yeah. It it's just, they're cute. Screwing into the ground. That truthfully could not have been easier. The foundation is in, so all we needed to do was put in two helical piles right there. What do you guys think? Charlie's really excited. He said, we're finally gonna have some stairs. <laughs> oh. So what we're doing, so these two piles right here, so we've got this one right here and then that one. This is going to act as the tower foundation, so it's going to lock into the existing foundation of the container home there. Have a square, go straight up. It's going to be really cool. It's also really nice being able to like actually see the space, like this is the corner of it. Yeah, it's so, pretty exciting. Yeah. So we have been keeping a little secret from you all though. What's new? <laughs> <laughs> um, so everything has been in progress for the last few weeks. Not here though, at a different um, location. So I think we're gonna drive down now and yeah. see how see how they're making out. Do you wanna go on a road trip, boys? You wanna go on a road trip, Eddie? Come on, Eddie, you can bring your stick. <laughs> All right, let's do it. So we're just getting to the site now. It is pouring, pouring rain. So anyway, we're gonna head inside now and take a look. Hey. So it might be a little difficult to hear me, courtesy of the halogen lights above, but I'm standing in the base level of the 34 foot stairwell tower that is gonna access the upper level. So this is unit one of the tower and that's unit two. So on crane day, this is gonna be stacked on top of this roof right up here. Obviously this was not a part of the plan, so we had to adapt and with adapting we made it better. So now what we're gonna do, that right there, that's the roof of the tower, so we're gonna lift that up into place. Okay, so it might be a little loud with the lights in here, so bear with me, but what we've done is we wanted to take a shipping container and stand it on its side to put the staircase in, but the engineering of that failed. So we decided to build our own simulated shipping container out of wood frame. 
So this is the staircase tower, the bottom half of it. This is the top half of it with the roof on. In total, it's gonna to be 34 feet tall. That is going to sit on here. So you need to use a little bit of imagination right now. But pretend I am leaving the main floor of the shipping container house. I will be walking up the stairs and then this is no longer the shipping container. This is the upstairs living room because we have gone up our stairs. That's why we needed to use our imagination. So we will have a living room here, wood burning fireplace right there. And then over here will be the sliding doors that go to our bedroom right now will be moved here so that we'll still have one of the container tops as a rooftop deck. It's gonna be pretty cool. And all these, wherever you see this, these are windows. So on the east side, we have three windows that will just face the forest. And on the south side, we have two windows that will bring in so much light. It's gonna be really beautiful. I'm really excited. Yeah. I'm gonna try and go up there and get a better vantage point. Okay. So it might be a little bit difficult to take all of this in, but I'm gonna climb up here to the highest point in the facility so you can get an idea just of the scale. Look at this, it is massive. Building it in this controlled environment though is obviously way better than trying to build outside in the winter right now. So the goal from doing it this way was we're able to build in a climate controlled area. So when we finally are able to crane this all into place, it's just gonna make it way easier. So the build will happen in one or two days versus over the course of several months. So it's really exciting to see this in person. We'll see you Thursday. See you Thursday. All right, we are gonna head home. We have a lot more that we need to get done. So yeah, let's get moving. All right, let's do it. Okay, so quick update. Tyler has no idea, but I booked a little cabin for us for the next two nights. So I'm about to let him know that I've got like clothes packed and there's some things that we can do down in the area. It's gonna be good. Hi. What are you doing? Nothing, I was just updating. You're being sketchy, what are you doing? Um, I have a little cabin booked for us. We're not actually going home. Do you actually? I do, and I've got clothes in the trunk. It's gonna be good. You're lying. I'm not lying, I swear on Charlie's life. You not lie, Dad. I knew you were up to something. You were being so freaking sketchy. <laughs> You're terrible at keeping secrets, but actually I didn't know. Where, like right now we're going? Yeah, it's down here somewhere. It's like 30 minutes away on GPS, so you ready? Yeah. All right, let's go. Sometimes I wake up with the sadness of the days it feels like madness. So what Is that the I ocean, Charlie? He's gonna love it. Oh, I do when love swimming. I got wet feet. So we're having a little bit of difficulty finding the spot. It's um, like really remote. In 200 meters, your destination will be on the left. There's still a kind 43. Oh, it's an A-frame? That is so cute. Yeah. Do you like it? Yeah, wow. Oh, look at the view. This is such a nice surprise. Thank you for doing this. Wow. What a view. It's the ocean, man. This place is stunning. We've gone from the woods to the woods by the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Come on, boys. It is so beautiful. <laughs> it's so cool. Oh wow, this is what I was nervous of. Oh, so they will be able to sleep upstairs. Yeah, I was really nervous the boys wouldn't be able to get upstairs. I'm like speechless right now. <laughs> wow. Look at this. Wow, the, it's so beautiful. Wow, this place is stunning. <laughs> Who did that? See? This is why we can't have nice things. <laughs> Honestly. Honest to God. Like what, two seconds? How long have we been in here? Literally. I'm sorry, guys. <sighs> what would a Tyler and Todd video be without a little project? This wasn't very respectful of you guys. What do you think? 
<laughs> it's really nice. Very um, timelessly done. Thanks for this. All right, do you want to relax for a little bit? I just finished lighting the fire and honestly, I could sit in front of it for hours. Not only do I love just fires in general, but there's something about this wood stove in the cabin. I'm loving the 70s vibe. I wasn't alive for the 70s obviously, but this is what I think was the peak of it. So I'm really enjoying this so far. Tyler's not here because with all the commotion of trying to surprise him and sneaking around to pack the car and our clothes, I totally blanked on bringing food somehow. So he ran out to a market down the street to pick something up for supper. And while he's doing that, I'm catching up on a little bit of emails and works securely, might I add. And that's thanks to the sponsor of today's video, Surfshark. We've tried several VPNs and by far Surfshark is the best. In case you're wondering what is a VPN, it stands for Virtual Private Network. What that means is it takes your information and routes it through servers, encrypting your data along the way to protect your location, identity, and sensitive information from would-be hackers. So whether you're using public Wi-Fi at a cafe or a hotel or an unfamiliar private Wi-Fi like I am right now, you can rest easy knowing that all your data and information is secure. Another huge benefit of Surfshark is the ability to change your location to be anywhere in the world. As you know, getaways like this are few and far between for Tyler and I, so the feature that we use the most is for entertainment. We're able to change our location and watch our favorite shows that may not be available to us but are available in other parts of the world. Surfshark is majorly hooking you up by giving you 83% off and three extra months for free. All you have to do is use the link in the description box down below, as well as the code Tyler and Todd, and you're going to have the ultimate online security. I think I just heard Tyler pulling in the driveway, so that's enough work for today. I'm gonna get to work on pouring us some wine. How's the market? Oh, uh, I'd keep your expectations low. It was less of a market, <laughs> more of a, gas station slash I don't even know what. Do you want to start cooking? Sure. I'll get water going, you cut veggies. Okay. I'm actually kind of excited for this. We haven't had spaghetti in a long time. I don't know. With the meatballs? We always go hard to when we spaghetti. Oh yeah. It smells really good. Mm. All right, so there's something I've been wanting to do since we got here and it really adds like I'm loving the 70s vibe Look at this chair and we've got the lamp and that we've got a record player Do you want to come down and put something on for us love? Let's just do the first one. Perfect. I love it. It's like putting our iPod on shuffle Staring up at the starlight Getting pretty close to midnight Sounds just like the wind singing your name Feels like home. Like a Tennessee river in the morning takes your breath without a feels like That is a good sound. Look at that. Look at that bubble. Not bad for some gas station spaghetti. I love gas station spaghetti. <laughs> The official taste test. Yeah. Um, we're sitting on the floor because we are being responsible and not going to get spaghetti. It's also everywhere. not the official taste test because someone has already dove into theirs. <laughs> I mean, like, head first cannonballed <laughs> into that pool. <laughs> you haven't had any yet. <laughs> what do you think? Gas station spaghetti? It's good. The jalapeno is interesting, but it's good. <laughs> All right, well, <laughs> we're just gonna watch some TV, I think, and yeah, starting a new show, so we'll it's probably a big have, night. We'll probably have it finished by morning. All right, well, we'll see you in the morning. Feels like home. Feels like home. 
feels like I just sleep. I slept really well, how to sing. Mm -hmm. Oh, juice. Okay, you slept okay too? Mm -hmm. yeah. Whoa. Good morning. Do you know where we are, bud? <laughs> French press in the morning to get us going? Yeah, gotta get that. Not for okay. you, silly. You're not having French press. It smells so good. It does. It smells like waking up and being human. <laughs> it like happiness to me. Yes, yes, I know. We're gonna go after. Yeah. Not right now, we'll go to the beach later, okay? You wanna give them the tour, show them around? We didn't get to yesterday. Sure. Coming in the door, there's a nice little seating area to put your shoes or boots on, and then it comes right into the kitchen, which I love the kitchen. So it's massive, it's very open, and you've got like the sink and all that here with views of the trees. And then I think what I love the most is this stove faces the ocean. So as you're cooking, you get to like watch the waves and the animals and stuff. It's pretty cool. And I'm loving the polished concrete floors. They're really nice and it has in-floor heat. So our feet are really warm, <laughs> which does not happen very often in the dome. Someone else is loving it too. Yeah, he has been just <laughs> laying on it all day. So coming down this way, it's a sunken living room and over here is like a little record area and this cute 70s chair. This was actually a lot of fun last night because there are so many different records to choose from and a lot of them are like singers and bands, this probably sounds bad, but we didn't know a lot of them or we haven't really heard their music. So it's kind of cool to like have a retro night, you know? Yeah, it was really fun. So coming up this way, we've got more of like the living room, I guess you would call it, because it's got a built-in couch with this beautiful retro looking fireplace. And the thing that I think is really cool is these massive doors. Look at how tall these are. And they open onto each other. So it's almost like not even having a wall. <laughs> it's wild. Oh, and hot tub. We'll have to get into that later. Oh yeah, definitely gonna be getting into that. So this is the view. It's really pretty and we're up on a hill, which is also a good thing for global warming. <laughs> <laughs> no tsunamis coming up here. No. Someday it might end up being a beachfront property. <laughs> and then in here is the washroom. Love the bathroom. It has so much space in it. The bathtub, we're not bath guys, so we didn't actually have a bath last night, but we had a glass of wine and just sat in the tub beside each other. And Which was equally nice. It was nice. We had some good chats. It was perfect. So we've got the toilet over here, a vanity, and then a beautiful shower with some custom tile work and glass work. It's really, really nice. All right, let's go upstairs and see the bedroom. This is another example of the attention to detail. This handrail, Tyler was the one that picked up on this. So as you're walking, you're turning, but the handrail actually turns with you. It's so beautiful. And then this is the bedroom. It's got a nice, comfortable bed with super high ceilings. And then, like, look at this view. It's wild. Stunning. It's so nice. And then you can see down to the downstairs from here. And there's also a little balcony right here. And that's pretty much the grand tour. I've never been in an A-frame before and I really, really like it. It's, it's pretty cool. Maybe we'll have to build one someday. <laughs> oh my gosh. Add that to the old to-do list. Yeah, really. <laughs> I'm sure it would surprise absolutely no one. Um, there's nothing for breakfast. Oh yeah. <laughs> Gas station didn't have breakfast food, so. No. We're Leftover gonna... spaghetti. <laughs> no. We're gonna go find somewhere to have some breakfast. Okay, you guys finally ready to go? And then we're gonna go get breakfast. And then the B-E-A-C-H. So what are we up to? 
We are in La Have, Canada, which is one of the oldest areas in the country. It was actually founded in 1632 when this part of the region was called Acadia. Little historian. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's just really cute. It's got like a little old European town feel and I mean it's almost 400 years old and you can tell by like the buildings and the infrastructure. But according to Google, the best place to go for breakfast in the area is called La Have Bakery and we're going to go check it out now. It's cute. It is. It smells delicious. <laughs> An old general store. Yeah. I'm gonna do a drip coffee. So cute. It's so pretty. It's so cool. Look at this bow. Very unique. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you so Thank you so much. You so much. Enjoy. Awesome. I hope you enjoy. Thanks. Thanks. Really good. It's really good. I'm excited to try the hummus though. It looks so fresh. We did sesame bagels and we got carrots and hummus on the side, which is kind of an interesting combo, but based on the vibe in here, I think it's like a European thing. If you look around, there's like really old books and just like knickknacks. There's also a British flag, so. I don't know. Union Jack. Union Jack. I don't know what the story is on that, but it's a cool vibe. So we were just about to leave after breakfast and we found out that the basement of the La Have Bakery is a bakery and they have all of these baked goods that you can buy. It's um. It's probably cool. common sense, but it's really cool. It smells amazing and like look at how old and cool everything is. So they've got like all of these jars of stuff that you can just fill. Very cool. I think we're moving to La Have. <laughs> That's what I heard. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Have a great day. That breakfast was absolutely unreal. The best part about it being a bakery is we could buy everything that we had. So we bought some hummus, we bought the bagels. They were, it's just awesome. So cool. It is. I'm assuming we just drive onto the boat. Ooh, ooh. This is a very weird feeling. Um, normally ferries are incredibly loud because they typically run on diesel. We're moving, obviously, as you can tell, but there's no sound at all. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I think it's really cool. So the way it works, it's a cable ferry. So it has a like submarine cable that like pull it along. So there's no engine on this. Hmm. Which I, I guess that makes sense. The hopefully noise. the cable doesn't break though. Like if there's no engine, would we drive out to sea? Hopefully that doesn't happen to us today. <laughs> what are we gonna do when we hit the other side? I don't know. Do you want to explore? Hey, sweetie. Was maybe, he snoozing? Maybe we should take them to the B-E-A-C-H. Do you want to go to the B-E-A-C-H? <laughs> okay, so I found a little beach this way. Oh, scenic route. Perfect. Isn't it wild? All these little towns exist and we've never even heard of them. Go walk out past the town line Beyond the last light and over this mountain Way out off the grid line Now's a good making our way here the sun came out and it turned into such such a beautiful day like especially for this time of year yeah it's I'm sure warm. you can hear the waves crashing they're unreal right now yeah so we're I think we're just gonna spend some time here we're in like a really rural area so there's not a lot to do except yeah. just enjoy nature and the peace and quiet which is kind of the point like we we're just like exploring around the area we've been driving for hours and it's just all these like little small fishing communities. It's, it's, it's yeah. Like it's beautiful. So I think we're just gonna stay here for a little bit and take in a few more sun rays and catch up with you in a little. Yeah, look at Sharon. <laughs> hey, you love the beach, don't you buddy?
What a vibe. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's so peaceful, especially with like, I don't know if you can hear, but the waves. Yeah, just so fun. Oh yeah, you can, they can hear that. Yeah. Wouldn't it be cool if we could figure out a way to build a solar powered wave machine and install it in the pond so that we Here can we always have this sound like that would be amazing <laughs> <laughs> staying here though by the way thank you for doing this yeah like yeah um i really needed it yeah well, thank you for fun. staying with me i really needed you love you it's been nice though also like getting ideas and like inspiration here it feels um it feels exciting, like there's a lot of things in this A-frame that I think we're gonna incorporate in our own build, which yeah. is kind of exciting. So. Yeah, exactly, we're at the point where we have to be making these decisions, so yeah, it's kind of cool. Yeah, Maybe we'll have to do this a little bit more. Maybe. <laughs> what do you guys think? Should we do this more? I think so. I think we should. All right, well, we have to check out in the morning, so we're gonna enjoy the last few moments here and just take it all in. And we will see you next Sunday. See you Sunday. Bye.